Good morning, good morning. Are y'all seeing me okay now? Or hearing me? <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious, alive chat. I think I'm in the clear zone now. No immediate errors that I'm seeing. I don't know why this won't show up on my dashboard. Holy moly. You hate this Twitch iPad app. I mean, I don't think any of the, the streaming apps are that great. They're all pretty frustrating. Too many people working from home. That makes sense. Goodness gracious. Let me close this window a little bit. Hey, Jesse. <clears throat> well, chat. That's the story of my morning so far. I didn't set an alarm this morning. That's one of the problems I'm having so far with our new uh, our new school from home setup. Is I didn't set an alarm and I normally don't sleep in. So I don't worry about setting an alarm. I'm usually up by seven without an alarm. Um, today I rolled over, it's like 8.15 and I'm like, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, so I've been running ever since. So I had to get uh, Sarah's post this morning edited and posted. Had to get uh, all handsome up for y'all. Need a beverage. And then I rushed over to Studio B with like five minutes to spare and then I set off the alarm on the house. So I had to deal with that. Yeah, it's beer already, it needs to be. Rich Sticks, thanks buddy, I appreciate it. And Jim, thanks for yours too. I don't know if I saw you, Tony, thanks for you. Bork and Bork, thank you very much. I appreciate all y'all. Um, so yeah, walked into the house, like five minutes to spare, set off the alarm, um, ran upstairs, got that taken care of. Ran up here, fired up the stream. Technical difficulties. Bounce the router, bounce the computer. Everything seems to be fine now, except for me. <laughs> I'm still stressed. The computer is no longer stressed. The alarm is no longer stressed. Um, I'm continually stressed. So, good morning. <laughs> That's how today's going to go, apparently. So... You decided to schedule a blizzard today. What's the uh, forecast? How much snow? It's going to be 80 here today. It's going to be 80 and sunny here today. 6 to 12 inches of snow for Jesse. That sucks. Were you done with snow? Suppose Theoretically, before this, snow was over. PJ's protocol. I'm going to talk about PJ's protocol and um, refill this weekend. Yay, the stream is back. Barely. Um, insights into things. Appreciate the follow. March and April still pretty snowy. Gotcha. Gotcha. I would take rain right now because my entire universe outside the walls of the house is yellow right now. Like There's like layers of pollen everywhere. It's awful. My sinuses, like, my sinuses are bad to begin with. This is rough. Happy almost Friday. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about on refill this weekend is not knowing what day it is anymore when you're in a new routine at home. So we're going to talk about a bunch of these things in refill this weekend. Steam360, thanks for the follow. appreciate it. So I'm a little distracted right now, so let's just let's hang out for a little bit and... Uh, and all that good stuff. Your Kakuyo and Fire and Fire shipped. Yes, 
I got up every all the orders through like lunchtime yesterday are shipped. Ooh, pollen in the car is terrible. It doesn't go away. Does not go away. Getting the notebooks today. Thanks for ordering them. I appreciate that. I saw the first. I saw some arrive uh, yesterday. I saw it started seeing some pictures. I hope everyone enjoys them. Red Dragon Pin Co. Brian, I'll get you an email this afternoon. We will set up a time for next week. Um, since you're off, since you're off now, that'll be easy peasy. So uh, I will shoot you an email this afternoon once I get uh, get home and get back into the flow of things. Oh yeah, Michael, it was your notebooks I saw. Um, oh damn, for April too. That sucks. Um, good, Mike. I'm glad you say that. I did not know that, Jesse. Good morning, PM Cardle. Oh, five target. Your your Kakuya arrived. Awesome, love it. Mine's still right here. I gotta see how many I have left. I still probably have like a hundred or so, but they've sold pretty quickly. I, I knew they would sell fast, um, even at their their escalated price point. They're still reasonably priced for kind of what they are. I mean, they're just way overpriced relative to like stock uh, sketch note notebooks. So, <clears throat> did I miss write notepads talk? I don't even know what we would be talking about. Did I miss write notepads news? Now got 99 just ordered a minute ago. Nice. I probably won't ship that till that might not ship till Saturday, Michael. I don't think I'm going to have time to ship today or tomorrow, but they will ship Saturday. They released a new notebook. Oh, thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Ah, new hardcover. Yeah, so no. I'm not on their mailing list. It looks good. I dig it. They needed that format. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer format for them. Uh, the monogram pricing seems out of line with the price of the notebook. It's 50% of the cost of the notebook. Does it come in anything besides lines? I got the new Moo notebook. Moo's doing a dot grid now. Yeah, the colors look good. Yeah, cool. Sonic ad, the hedgehog or the hamburger? Oh, you love my shirt? Thank you. This is uh this is uh Ink Dependence Mike's uh favorite shirt. This is this is definitely a, a Mike shirt. I I got the new mood notebook in yesterday. I'll put some uh I'll put it on Instagram today. It looks really good. Yeah, another howler. You know me. It's all howler all the time. The shirt is visually confusing. It is. If there's a lot going on from here up. I will grant you that. You know, it's I, I got my gun, my gun thing here. You know, because I'm such a gun guy. You can tell I hold them all the time. You saw your stealth finger yesterday. Well done. I don't even know what you're talking about. Howler makes the best flannels. Yeah, I have like five of them. They just fit me. That number one, they fit me. Number two, they're my style of shirt that I like. You know, lots of plaids and patterns and fun, fun stuff. Yeah, you've confused me, Tony. Tony, I think I'm going to release your podcast today. I'm thinking while we're on, um, while we're on COVID-19 alert, I think I might just release one a week and then just deal with any non-content I have. Oh, Yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> good i was hoping you saw that <laughs> that was a good i was happy with that one i'm not gonna lie i couldn't remember what you were talking about though if you said stealth middle finger i would have remembered but i was like stealth finger i was playing i was playing jackbox party with mike and the thing was cutting people's fingers off so that's all i could think about yeah so i think we'll go weekly for the foreseeable future and then we'll just deal with whatever comes after that. I bet I have, so I have five recorded. 
I'm talking to Evelyn at one o'clock today, so we're not going to have an infinitely long stream like the in infinitely long jest book. Um, and then like I know I'm got I'm gonna talk to Brian next week. I think I have three booked next week, so I think we'll just go as long as we're in this weird time. I think an extra podcast a week will be a good call. Yeah, we can do extra stuff too. Like this, this um yard guy this uh i forgot i lost my train of thought oh yeah i was just gonna say bonjour anna sorry for the technical difficulties <clears throat> so yeah i was just gonna say until we're more in a normal society i think a, i can release one of these a week and just deal with whatever that means six months from now as far as content goes i'm sure we'll have other ideas by then like tony said we could just do other podcasts and do other stuff it'll be it's cool enough to where we can just figure it out and do it on the fly i'm not taking this project um i don't want to say seriously but i'm not i'm not going to be too rigid with the structure how about that like we'll get all these interviews done and you know we might have enough interviews for the rest of the year and then we can just wing it. Like, I'm not going to be too rigid with it, I guess is the best way to put it. So, <clears throat> Thoughts on using gel ballpoint rollerball on Tomoe River paper? I don't like gel on Tomoe River paper. I use ballpoint some, and that's about it. I'll use ballpoint some, pencil some. I'll generally not use gel or rollerball. Rollerball is okay, but yeah, like, Mike's saying the gels gel is not a pleasant experience. <clears throat> I just don't like how it feels. <clears throat> so there's that. Gel goes through it. Yeah. It is really bright today. I'm not used to this lighting setup. It's usually dark and dreary. Um, I was gonna do I was going to address some envelopes. I am so out of whack today, chat. Let's just talk about other stuff. What do you want to talk about? I got stuff to talk about. I should see how many see how many notebooks I have left. Oh, you know what I can do? Let me see if I can pull up the uh, Karen Dash artwork. Oh, here, we can do a follow-up. Did everyone listen to yesterday's podcast? Hang on real, real quick. Hey, Alexander. So everyone everyone heard uh, us talking about the... Uh, so that's what I wanted to talk about. We want to talk about the Lunkers. <sighs> Retro emailed me afterwards. And they were like, oh, we're so excited you broke the news. And now everyone's like, like all their collector boards that I don't follow, they're like all trying to figure it out now. So they emailed me, said there are 10 different, there are 10 unique ones and they have names. Like each of them has names. So the one we shared was Sal Mon, S A L space M O N. So that's Sal Mon. There's Bob Marlin, Carp E D M. Alfred Hitchcock, so they're gonna give me, uh, they're gonna try to get me a, a an image of all of them to break out to to see. Sorry, the the lighting's bothering me today, guys. Sorry, I can't decide if it's too dark, too light. So yeah, so Mike, the Gone Fishing um release that they just had, seven hundred and seventy seven of the gone fishing, the fishing lure one. I got an email, someone got a pink one out of that and they couldn't figure out if there was a problem with the pin. No, Twitch is still doing prime. They couldn't figure out if there was a problem with the pin, if there was a weird one or if it was like a special edition. So they inserted 10, basically 10 surprise fish into those 777 pins. So that was the first one that had been found. And, uh, so yeah, they all have names. That's the only names he shared me. One, is that four of the names? Um, so they're going to, he's gonna to try to get me images of all of them so I know what they look like. 
but that was pretty cool. So yeah, I can't wait to see the second one because it'll be different than the one that we shared yesterday. And I didn't order that one. Like I thought it was super cool, but I didn't need it, so I didn't order it. And um, <laughs> Carpe Diem. <laughs> I like Bob Marlin. That sounds like mine. Um, and then the article. All right, see you, Tony. Enjoy. The article that uh, original content uh, original content books had an interview with George, the owner, yesterday, and he's like still keeping the the door open for selling it, but I'm not sure he's like that interested. Like he, they asked him again about selling it. So, Evan, share that link in the chat. Unless I, I might have it real quick. Here it is. It was a good short interview. One of the things I don't talk about very much in the Retro 51 story is is mentioned in this uh, in this article. Wow, does that really not want to paste? That George's family, his brothers, started the Fossil Watch Company and then sold it. And that's kind of how Retro 51 got started. So that's a very important part of their history. That's why I'm guessing they really don't need to sell Retro 51. But that's just conjecture on my part. But yeah, man, I would love I would love that company. Just um I don't know if I can tell on my side, Michael, if there's like a date thing. Like following previously some Yeah, I don't know how many details I have. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, I would just recheck because I know I gave one out yesterday. Um, so I know they're still working as of yesterday. I need to give mine to Ink Dependence. So one brother still still there. So yeah, they're they're big time. Like that's one of the parts of the story that I don't share that much because I just don't feel like it's not kind of my place. But now that it's getting out there, um, that's one of those things. Things. Thanks, Mike. I need to sub on your channel uh, tomorrow. So one thing we're going to do, chat, later on today. Um, yep. So does that make it, is everything adding up now? Why they're not extremely worried about selling this if it's not just perfect? So does that make a little bit more sense now? I'll, I'll, I'll rewind to what I was just saying about Mike in a, in a moment. But <clears throat> you can start to put things together a little more about the whys of of what they want to do and george the retro owner is so quiet and shy he does not like to be out there at all so this it seems like his style super nice guy but very very chill maybe that's what it was mike so what we're gonna do um at the end of this stream today Mike's going to go Ink Dependence Mike if y'all aren't following him y'all know Mike if you don't go click on his his Twitter his Twitch name here go follow him we're going to um we're going to raid his stream and one thing Mike did yesterday we played was it jackboxparty.tv yesterday and that was hella fun I I had internet connections at the end Mike so I had to drop off um so Mike hosts uh, basically like a stream game party, and that's what we did yesterday. So y'all go play that. I don't have time to hang around today. I got to go talk to Schmevelin. But me and Mike will eventually start doing more things together, at least while Mike's teaching from home. Dude, Jesse, that game confused me so much. Like, that was pure luck because i was doing everything wrong but not on purpose just like genuinely trying to do the right thing but it was wrong every step i made was wrong i didn't know i was the alien and i think it told me at the beginning i was but i knew cool dude was and then i screwed it up so yeah, so Mike and I will try to do some more streams. Um, Jesse and Mike, this goes for Mike too. I bought a Switch yesterday. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a Breath of the Wild playthrough. 
but we can start doing some other switch stuffs switch stuffs yeah it's a little wonky on twitch because if i was streaming and you were streaming and you were hosting and then i had a browser up how would that work so anyway yeah i got a switch it'll be in monday um i haven't ordered any games yet but i'm getting breath of the wild for sure um and i think you know all right mike be good be safe um like breath of the wild i think would make a great playthrough it's hella long <laughs> yeah so maybe it wouldn't make a great playthrough but we can start or something i've never been like a zelda truther right like i've played one of the i played whichever zelda came out when the original wii came out so whichever one that one was um but i didn't finish it so i've never i've never been like a lifelong zelda person zelda so zelda and pokemon came out in that time frame where i was out of games right i played stuff before that and i played stuff after that so i never became like a hardcore zelda person but i know that game would be right up my alley octopath traveler i've heard of that steam world quest so yeah we're gonna get some stuff i need to see how to hook that up to the stream um hopefully it's pretty easy hopefully i can just run a cable to the capture card um it's just like um, it's a wire fest here at the uh at the at the uh studio b so we'll have to see your wife might kill you if you start gaming yeah same as ps4 so i can just hook it in my capture card i wonder if i have an extra slot in that card or i have to like swap them if i want to play ps4 swap them if i want to play switch so we'll see i'll mess with that next week so i'm gonna start gaming more um, at least now. Um, like, I might come over here this weekend and just play games for a while and just hang out more because I've got the kids uh, more now, like, uh, around. This is essentially, like, summertime but with, like, school. So it's 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 been a weird adjustment, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I wouldn't even know, Evan, so I'll just be used to it, used to it breaking and having to deal with it. So that comes in Monday. I, I mean, I'll have it Tuesday, but we're, I won't be setting it up. But what, think about, think about like stream games, like what would be good, and if we can like multiplayer, like if anyone else wants to play type of games, like can join my sessions and play would be a fun, fun stream stuff. So we'll work on that. <clears throat> but like this weekend, if I come over and play, I'll probably play Destiny or MLB The Show. That was an accident. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Mario Kart multiplayer. I think Splatoon maybe. Splatoon do multiplayer. That might be decent. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. <clears throat> We can wing it. So, but I finally broke down. I just got the standard, you know, one of these days I'll get like a fancy controller edition, but all the accessories, is that's where they get you, man. Those accessories are expensive. I might have to get like a separate controller for like if I'm streaming, that might be better than the little Joy-Cons. Um, I'm definitely gonna get Golf Story. That was highly recommended in the chat yesterday and Slack, and then that was one that was already on my radar anyway. So that might be a fun one for me to string to stream. Um, yeah, if you have like um, accessory recommendations, y'all definitely let me know. You can let me know here, let me know on Twitter, whatever. Email me. But yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to go full accessoried out yet, but I probably will pretty soon, like especially for the controller, the exterior controller. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't remember. I was going to write I was going to do envelopes today, but man, I am I am space cadet today. Like today has been too much already, but it, it's all self-inflicted. I did not get up on time and that just ruins my day. So I'm going to start setting my alarm tomorrow. Because when the kids are in school, my alarm's set for 
for 615 and that was great do you make your own envelopes i do not i buy um brown craft envelopes off amazon That I get a lot of handmade envelopes in the letters that people send me. They're pretty cool. Yeah, I'll we'll see how it goes with the the basic setup, and then we'll see, you know, if I need to get a controller or whatnot. I'm almost certain I'll want a controller if I'm on a stream. <clears throat> Yeah, I got the first round of uh, sketchbooks out pretty quick. Uh, actually, the first two rounds out pretty quick. And now the next ones, if you have an order in right now, they will not go out before Saturday. And then I'll check today. I'll post on Twitter how many are left. It's probably less than 100 by now. But I, I, I'll have to look. It feel That feels about right. So yeah, I was I was feeling like doing some work today on stream, but it's not gonna happen. So let's chat. What else can we chat about? So I've got Switch, Switch coming. <clears throat> I don't know. Zelda might be fun to stream because y'all can backseat backseat drive me on that. I thought, what's the um, what's the newest Zelda that is like the um, it's not the same game style. It's not like a top-down Zelda, but it was like the different art style. Link's Awakening, is that the most recent one that came out like six months ago, year ago? Where it had like a different, a more retro-y vibe. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like, claim that looked pretty cool. Like, is that a good game? I don't know. I almost, I like that style of game, but I want to play Breath of the Wild first. It's fun. That's cool. I'm a wait and see. Does um does Nintendo ever do any like big sales on like games? Like the classic games, it doesn't look like they ever put them on sale, right? Like Zeldas and Mario's, you rarely get that stuff on sale, right? Because they just always sell. They don't need to. Yeah, that's what I thought. So just it'll just be the more independent independent games and other random stuff. So just buy without Nintendo doesn't get discount. So yeah, if it's a major game, just buy it. Link's Awakening. Yes, I'll look at that. Yeah, do they have like a like an online? Is there like an online service ish type of thing too, where you can download some of the old games? Or I haven't see that's I haven't totally looked into it yet. So y'all are teaching me. all through the shop cool i'll have to look at that <clears throat> oh i know what i was gonna say earlier one of the things where i got sidetracked sales physical copies on amazon okay that'll work i was gonna say we'll do some unboxings next week as well um maybe tuesday i think i finally made some orders 20 bucks a year for the online service yeah that sounds like a deal so i have a jet pins order a van s pins order coming um that i placed i want to say tuesday i ordered both of those things so we'll do an unboxing on both of those um i think everyone's just a little bit behind with how the coronavirus is hitting everywhere like jet pins being out in california they don't have as much like they're not working from the office as much and things like that so I've just gone and placed uh placed some standard orders with them that makes sense get composted that was kind of my feeling just looking at how the setup was I wish they had I wish they'd port monster hunter world over to the switch I saw that was went to um uh, PlayStation Plus 
yesterday and i've always played monster hunter i've never that's a game i've never finished or never like completely dove all the way into but when i pick it up i love playing it but you need like hours of commitment a day to do that yeah goulet is not shipping for a while so it's gonna be some weird times coming up and we can talk about that more um cw pencils is out of, everyone's essentially out of the office for a while some are gonna pause shipping like goulet um some are going to ship but with a little bit more of a delay like jet pens they're kind of rotating their shipping employees um yes they posted an article yesterday evan so office workers are working from home shipping employees are on a skeleton crew that rotate in and out and um meet all the as many the protective guidelines that have been issued so just expect that it'll be slower to actually leave the building but they are still accepting orders and shipping them it just the fulfillment piece might be extended if that makes sense if i'm saying that right same with cw pencils right they're doing online orders they have a good coupon going right now um but I don't know that they're going in every day and shipping or if Caroline's just going in every day and shipping or if it's, you know, once or twice a week, things like that. Um, Goulet has stopped shipping completely. Van S, I don't think, is stopping anything. Um, so I think their business as usual right now. We're just talking about all the delays and shipping coordination and all that stuff of our our favorite vendors. Because I was saying I have a, I placed an order from JetPens and Van S. So we'll do an unboxing next week. But I don't even know if I've got any. I think I have shipping notifications from both of them, which means I should get them this weekend. Good morning, Kimmy. Kimmy, how's your um? How's your COVID nineteen situation where you're li where you're li where you're at? Are you having any troubles? Um, place a rickshaw. Oh yeah, so rickshaw is on hold until they return. They're just backlog backlogging. Um, I don't know what Wright's doing. I bet they're still in the office shipping. I think the smaller the companies are, the more likely they are. That it's important for them to ship. <laughs> But yeah, at some point everyone just I you know at some point everyone's gonna stop, right? They just it's it's tracking. Franklin Kristoff still work as normal. Could be better. Netherlands probably going on lockdown. I wouldn't be surprised if we're not uh, a week or two from full lockdown. We'll see. You never know. Um Yeah, you look at the charts and like so far the US is tracking just like the Italy charts, but who knows? Just wake up with the, the day and, and figure out what today brings. Oh, cough and a fever. Oh, goodness. Yeah, a lot of we're getting a lot of that. We're getting that around here. Um, so my wife um, has heard from a lot of co-workers at a lot of different stores about different staff getting sick and having fevers and coughs. And they have the little clinics that they can go get tested for the flu and they're all coming back negative for the flu so this is not going to go well i don't think for a while so it's a little scary so hopefully we can come here and figure out like we can take each other's minds off of it for a little bit even though i feel a little guilty today i don't have anything to talk about but man I just wanted I just wanted to come and, and hang out for a little bit. Free shipping at right for uh, $50. Do I order all three colors and free shipping? Uh, you order all three. If it was me, I would order all three and give two away. But you're not as generous as I am. Duck and drive through is busy. Yeah, all the drive throughs <laughs> all the drive throughs are very, very busy these days. I don't know. You use you will fill those up. I would wager. Alright, do you want to know my real advice, Tony? Here's my real advice. 
I would order one. If I was you and not me, I would order one and pay for the shipping because I don't know how quickly they will iterate on this and I don't want to be stuck with three if they change it and then come out with a second uh, a, a V2 model and I still have two of model one and want the second one. So I would order one. Chris, that is exactly right. Uh, baseball talk. Um, that's a complete shirt show right now. Um, not at the major league level, but at every other level, right? It's it's a disaster. I mean, this whole thing's a disaster, but baseball is hosed um, and not even at the major league level. I just feel so bad for the minor leaguers. Um, but yeah, the Astros... Kim herself, glad you made the Twitch stream. Hopefully it's under decent circumstances, not under quarantine circumstances, but I think a lot of us are here for the quarantine. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I think the, uh, ooh, you're having a, Jackie, you're having a special delivery. That's awesome. K9 play, first day off in three weeks. How how is your job if you don't mind me asking handling anything as far as the handling of postage like like carriers are a frontline job right i mean that's a uh you're handling so much stuff like external external mail and packaging and things like that do you have to deal with anything special? Yeah, so you're in the front. So you're basically uh, like retail employees, like um, like you know, like my wife's a grocery store pharmacist. She deals with people all day. Like she's gonna see, like I mean, she last night she's like, it's inevitable that I'm gonna get it. Like so let's just hope that we can all handle this well, if and when when I do, because it's just gonna happen. Good morning, even supposing. Kim working from home, good. Semi quarantine in Bud Budapest. That's kind of what we are in my part of the country in the U.S. We're not gathering, but we're not like we're not curfewed or anything like that. Well, uh, Mary, that got me today. Um, the not sleeping in a little bit later. I didn't set my alarm today, and I slept till eight fifteen. So I've been running running behind the entire time so like i was gonna try to do a little bit of work today on stream and get things but yeah i need, i'm gonna set my alarm tomorrow though i can't sleep till sleep me sleeping till eight o'clock throws my entire day off like and it and it's shown already this morning with all the things that i've broken What the the Tony working from home is awesome. In London, people are shopping. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, we're still going to the grocery store. I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> Did you like that, Kim? <laughs> yeah, I I should. I was um. So I follow a guy on twitter named dave chang which y'all if you watch um like any netflix cooking shows you probably know dave chang and he started joking about um this is the time where everyone's gonna say they're gonna read all these like hugely impossible to read books and i was like i'm gonna use something like that for my twitch title today yeah he's the ugly delicious guy but i listened to his podcast it's brilliant uh <laughs> and I knew I wasn't going to do anything specific today. Like it wasn't going to be an unboxing or it wasn't going to be a specific topic. So I just went with a, uh, with a clickbaity topic, uh, with a clickbait title today. <laughs> Almost turned around. Not going to lie. Mike, how can you sleep till nine 30? Do you get, do you stay up late? See, I don't stay up late. Ooh, your shower plumbing busted yesterday. Yeah. That is tough. Just uh, socially distance them, and then uh, and then use the new shower. Usually go to bed about three a.m. Is that consistent, Mike? That like that's like the norm. So nine thirty is nothing. 
See, I'm usually if I see 11 p.m., it's mega late. Jerrica, are you fully working from home? Are you done traveling? That's about the norm. So I'll I'll reset my my normal alarm during the week is 6:15. Everything got canceled, Jerrica. Uh. That's right. That's right. I remember talking about that, Kim. Don't even eat dinner until about nine. That's good. I mean, that's good. Like, that's a good routine. Like, if you have a routine, it all, it all works. It's like when you're mixing it up. That's the hard part. So, but yeah, I'm just, I just tend to fall out between 10 and 11. I just really just crash, but I'll be up between six and seven almost every day, except today for whatever reason. Yeah. So yeah, you working from home, Audrey going in. Are you having to um, do any instruction, Jerrica? Are you having to do any remote instruction? Uh, Johnny's texting me the right pads thing. Kim, that's not a bad idea. Like I've considered that. Because if anyone, like, I could totally use that. Oh, good. My, um, my, my Switch memory card will be here Saturday. Why? Are you, are you shocked? Truthfully, or are you shocked? Uh, fake shocked? So uh, Johnny Gambers let me know about the right notepads. Actually shocked. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's good. Maybe leadership is getting changed when they hire people like Rachel who can communicate with the rest of the community in a sensible fashion. Um, maybe we can change at the top level to be more accommodating you know it's a old school mentality i know i know it's a, but it's he's still the boss but like times change he no he's still the boss for sure um but this is a different marketplace at least in the u.s right in Japan, you can go to the store and find your sailors. In the U.S., that's a that's a rare occurrence. Um, you know, at some point, someone had to give. I guess. So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely, people have had issues with Don in the past, but hopefully, maybe they're turning a corner. Um, you know, I'm trying to get a custom one done and now I at least have a path to have a conversation. So they're still not going to do it and they still, you still have to have a retailer to have it, but I didn't get a definite no. So like I can kind of witness a little bit of change, you know, I didn't get no way, no how, never. I got there's situations where that we do this for this is not one of them right now um and then we'll see so i'm like that's progress in my book it may never happen but some of these companies are gonna have to change how they do business and some of them are resistant and some of them aren't You know, there's they want to play by a lot of old rule, old by the book rules, and that's not the global market does not allow that these days. So they're going to have to change. That's just my opinion. That's the way I see it. And those who, those companies that can adjust with the times, they're going to thrive. Like Sailor does, obviously, does a great job with their product. 
but retail channels are still a challenge for them. <clears throat> so yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Either they'll change or the next owners will. Sailor almost went out of business about four years ago. Oh, nice even supposing. But yeah, like people don't know that Sailor almost went out of business about four years ago, like completely out of business. Like it was like there were a few public articles on it, but it was generally like a hush hush thing. Basically having to get like loans to stay afloat type of stuff. I'll have to see if I can find those articles. They're buried in my inbox somewhere. Yep. But they're, like they're totally fine now. I'll see if I can find, I'll find the emails um, and the articles that were posted about it. I think it was four to five years ago. It wasn't much longer than that. So that was a shock to me. I had to be told about it. <laughs> I mean, it just never, like there's never any reason to bring it up like in a blog post or like have a podcast topic about it but i have the articles um the japanese articles i was sent them and um it was just very vague and but i don't know if i could even find them i probably can't find them right now i'll put that on my list to find mm. uh let's see yeah let me write i'll write myself a note to search my inbox So, but you never would have known it from that, from the outside, but everything else, like you notice, but like the last five years, four or five years, or at least maybe three years is when they've really started to escalate all this custom stuff, all these ink lines, all this random stuff, all the ink price changes, um, all that stuff. So I think it's like, it seems pretty fine now. Welcome back, Jim. Good morning, Tessa. <clears throat> That's literally what we're just talking about, Alexander. Way to be on top of it. I bet Goulet gets an exclusive sailor. JVK, that's why I was happy they made the Manu ink line. That's why I am, I am um, all in on promoting the Manu ink line because it's back to the old sailor Si bottle size and pricing close enough to where hey it's a good deal instead of hey this is like a little bit outrageous so like I just could not be more happy that there is a Manio ink lineup and I hope they continue it Goulet will absolutely do an exclusive Whoops, that was bright. So I was just clicking on the sailor link now. Yep, cool. Plus it also helps that, um, whoops, Goulet can sell the ultra high end um, of the brand as well, right? Agree, JVK. Yeah, they do. They have a pretty good market. They're one of the few retailers that I think can really... Uh, Oh, good. Thank you, Get Composted. How long ago was this post? Let's see. Three years ago? So, yeah, my time frame is about right. Thank you. So, yeah, it was a real shirt show over there uh, four years ago or so. 
and they were like they i think they had to take like outside the, the information i got was like they, they were having to take like bank loans and and all that stuff today is 290 days since i bought a new ink oh my god kim we need a chart we need a i should have we should do like charts that should be like our thing on instagram or something and the funny part is you use new inks to to make the chart today has been five days i was uh the macchiato man y'all know yagen from australia his tweet this morning was let me see if i can find it it's an ink related tweet basically said i think it I'll, i'm paraphrasing but he um he bought 45 inks in the past seven days it's time to slow down i think those were the numbers so yeah, you're doing pretty good there, Kim. Yes, here it is. Yikes, 47 bottles of new ink in the last five days. Time for a bit of a no buy. <laughs> Ooh, it's crazy. Oh, let's do confessions. Yeah, Jerrica says, I haven't inked any of the pens I bought in Philly. I haven't opened the inks I bought either. They are just collecting dust on my pen cabinet. Well, now is the time, Jerrica. Now is the time. yeah like when we talk about buying ink like we'll go oh what color from this new ink lineup do i want to try and yagen is i need the full ink lineup of every brand release right He's, it's a different scale <clears throat> but that's the that's cool kim Oh, even supposing I just saw your message, I have not seen anything about the Tomoe River paper changing, but I know who to ask. I'll see if I can find out. So back to get composted link. link. Um, yeah, like that was definitely a thing with, with the sailor. So that's a good thing, Sarah. You only buy ink at the Chicago show. You also know a guy that sends you ink sometimes, so you're kind of covered just on randomness. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I just sent you that one Robert Oster ink. I need I have a couple other ones here that I need to review. I think I might review Ackerman number 12 for Monday. I think that's on my list cuz I've been enjoying that. I kind of have this new magenta e um, flavor that I'm liking. Ackerman 28 is one of the best inks on the planet. I will say that. You wish you had a job in the stationary world? Make it happen. Do it. You're young. You can figure it out. Trying to be a minimalist pen addict, slowed down with the new pens and paper too. Ink restraint comes the easiest. I think that's fair. Which one is 12? It's really hard to pronounce. It's uh, it's like Mauritius Magenta, magenta, but I don't know how to say it. Kimmy, go look up uh, number number 12 and send me a, a audio of you of you saying uh, of you saying Ackermann number 12. It's a magenta color though. So uh, that's the Sailor uh, Manio the Akibi that I like. I'm liking this purpley pink reddish color all of a sudden. Job in stationary might be precarious now. <laughs> I'm just, you don't have to, Kimmy, but you, you can if you want. I totally would. <laughs> um, I have to beque bequeath my inks to someone. Yeah, that's totally fair. Like. I actually don't buy a lot of inks for personal use these days because I have a ton. And now that saying that i still buy more inks than any normal human being, but I don't have the huge, huge ink problem that some people have, um, in this community, like Yagen, like he has 47 bottles of new ink in the last five days. I have probably have 47 bottles of, of new ink in the last three years, maybe, which is still an outrageous number. The ones I get to test, uh, I'll give away. Yeah, or like Jesse. Uh, 
so I will uh, I'm gonna start giving away more of my inks uh, I'll sell some of the rarer ones that I just don't use like I have some old uh, Kobe's and some of the bung boxes um, colors that aren't as easily gettable there is never too much ink what is my what is my there is never too much of thing I have to think about that because I think there's too much ink there's too much notebooks it would be pens of some sort there would be never too much of X type of pens probably It's probably never too much like uh like sailor sailor pens jet streams orange pens i don't know orange pens have a limit right because they can you can do orange poorly <clears throat> yeah i have i'm the, i have the same problem with samples i did the whole sample thing in the beginning and now i'll just buy the boxes if i want All right, so I just got a tweet that uh, I was making the comp. They were saying, uh, Evan, that the Rotring, the green is the right choice after our commentary on the um, on the podcast yesterday. And that their regular 600 has the hole, a racer hole, and they bought it in 2015. I think my 600 is at least early 2000s, and it might be older. I'll have to check. I'm going to take a picture of my six, 600, excuse me, not 6,000. Uh, when I get home, because I keep that on my desk. There are never too much books. That's a pretty good one. Why are sailors so freaking expensive? They're pretty expensive. They raised their price like two years ago. Um, and the 21 karat gold nibs uh, add to that. So those are probably, that's probably $150 in the nib alone, if not more than that. So it ends up being a, ends up pushing it to that price but they used to be like it wasn't many years ago they were in the like the 280s for the large ones black 600 from the 90s definitely doesn't have the hole yeah i stopped buying books yeah i go back and forth between real book library kindle like i have it just depends on what kick i'm on um, the last couple have been physical books that I've ordered, um, before that was library, before that was Kindle, and then I go back and forth. Like, I haven't read a book on a Kindle in a while. <clears throat> I, I agree that sailors are generally overpriced. But once you get into that $250 price range, a lot of pens are overpriced. Right? I think the like the pilot 823 is not overpriced, but everything like around that that's not a, like a vac filler, you start getting into you're paying for things that are not just the nuts and bolts of the pen, right? So but I still buy them because of personal taste, right? I pay the extra money because I like the style. <laughs> Right, so it means something to me to have the look. The King of Pen is the most egregiously overpriced pen. I've said that from day one. As much as I like the King of Pen, and as much as I'm a King of Pen fan, it is one of the most obscenely overpriced pens on the market. It just is, but I really like it. Like, that's what I'm saying. The 823 is a vac, and that's what makes it a good value for that price. But once you, the other pins in that price range that aren't vacs, it stops being that price. It stops being a value, right? How is Le Mans held? <clears throat> the Pilot Custom Series are a better deal, but you can only get them in black. Like the 912. Like I think the 912 is one of the best pens on the market for just a pure writing experience. Value for what you're getting in the nib and the barrel. But it's black and rhodium. That's it. That's why I've, I've banged on Pilot for years on the podcast. If you made the 912 in other colors, 
like and not even your regular other colors you would compete with sailor all day long that is one of the best pins for the value on the market but it's plain like and there's nothing wrong with plain pins i i think i have two or three 912s they're awesome imagine if they made that in lime green or teal blue i don't understand i do not understand that's that choice Like, how many of us saw the blue and orange 92s from a year and a half ago in person? Like, they launched them in Japan. Was it the 92 or 91? Um, they did a blue and an orange one. Cool, maybe we'll start seeing them. And I've never laid eyes on one. I, it's, Pilot's just not interested in that for whatever reason. Like, I have a 91 that's from Bung Box. They did a special edition 91. That's the only 91 I've ever kept. If Pilot would do something with the 912, man, they would... That would be out of bounds. They would... Because they can keep that... They would only have to... The price point would still be like $100 under the full-size sailors. Like, even if they went up to like 225 250 it would i would recommend that wholeheartedly what are you gonna do that's why we're not in charge chat they clearly know they know better than we do <clears throat> so yeah i think the the 912 would be the biggest competitor to Sailor um, if they were interested in focusing on that, but I guess not. <clears throat> the 845 is a great pen. I don't have one, but I would get one. But it's just, it's the colors, right? If I'm going to pay that much money. And I like, I like the red one. Like if I got it, I'd get the red one, but just not exactly right for me i know that's a good pen i i'm not that's a beautiful pen pilot makes some really great pens but they can do more but what do we know chat we don't run these companies into the ground like sailor did to themselves The only pin on the list. All right, what time is it? Got rid of all your vanishing points, tired of the pilot converters. I understand that. That's why I mostly use cartridges in the VP. And I use the con 70 like the, the 91 can fit the con 70 so i like it sailors are worse i i will say sailors sailors converters are worse <laughs> but i only use cartridges in the vanishing point <clears throat> i just hate i hate filling and cleaning the con 70 i syringe fill it and syringe clean it because it's such a pain in the butt yeah, carts and the VP is the only way to go. You get so little ink in those converters. I mean, technically, I don't like the Con 70, but it's kind of like you take what you're given in that situation, and it's it's the best of a bunch of bad situations. I'll just take it. For, I like the added weight it provides. It's a con 70 is a mixed blessing. That's exactly right. The best thing about the con 70 is the weight to me. I could, it's not even the capacity that gets me excited about the con 70. It's how it makes the pen feel when it's in there. 
that little little bit of weight makes a ton of difference. If you're going to syringe, why not use the cart? Because of the weight of the Con 70. It's a, it gives the pen a completely different feel. It's one of the only converters that I'll ever notice being in a pen that you can you can physically notice a difference. Wrap aluminum tape around the cart. Well, then you're just getting into busy work. And hey, I'm about busy work, but I'll just fill up the Con 70 then. Yep, and it does fit some of the lower end pins too, which is good. Not all of them, but some of, most of them. Nibs are good. I need to go through a uh, a filling, a pin filling, get out the pins I haven't used in a while episode of of just filling up new stuff that I haven't used. I just hate filling the con 70 is a terrible <laughs> terrible mechanism to fill an ink bottle with like it's just a complete pain in the ass to use. So yeah. That's why I do that one. Otherwise, you know, a standard converter works better to fill just like straight from the bottle <clears throat> oh yeah it is the Mont Blanc M I was going to do um, I was going to do letters today I was going to do notebooks and I said well I'll get I'll take the M the M has been sitting on my desk um, for a while Oh, Robo Jim, I totally could see that because you're just it, it's it does not fill quickly and you just end up jamming that into the bottom. Yeah, so this is the um Mont Blanc M. Um not the uh the fountain pen, this is the rollerball version. The rollerball version is the only usable version of this pen to me. I couldn't do the I could get I could have gotten the fountain pen for like $140 or something like that. And even at that price, I couldn't do it because it was so uncomfortable. But I love this design. And I got to try the rollerball out and it, it works like it's good. They totally overpriced them. I think I paid, I definitely paid something starting with a one for this. At the Atlanta pen show, someone was closing them out um, two years ago, one or two years ago. Um. And I could have, like I said, I could have gotten the fountain pen for like half off of half off, like crazy price. That's the only reason why I ever bought it. Um, it's good. Like I like it from a rollerball pen perspective. So that's what I was going to use today when I was going to do letters. But, you know, sorry, squeaky. I think I have a Schmidt refill in this. Let me see. Yeah, Schmidt P8126 fits in there. So, yeah. Speaking of the 74, oh, I saw, was that the one from like a, a week ago? Hey, Kaizen Jokin, glad you made it. Is this the uh, the questionable content comic? Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, that comic was really good. Oh, it's right on the money. So yeah, like the rollerball version of this, I, I do like. So I keep this on my desk. And I, I thought this would be a good pen to do stacks of envelopes today, but I'm not feeling it, chat. Y'all saw how this, this stream got off to a, a glorious start this morning. <clears throat> so I was not feeling it. But hey, look, we've gone an hour and we're just shooting the shirt. Oh, Tarumi, good, awesome. Glad you made it. Yeah, like uh yeah, it's still early there for you. We we have a tough time for the West Coast. Tarumi Woods on Instagram, everybody. Um Yeah, so that's the day. 
Mont Blanc overprices a pen. Yeah. What were these? When were these came out? They were four hundred dollars when they um uh first launched or more like was the fountain pen like five something am i keeping active jim i'm going to talk about that a little bit this weekend i've had a very strange first week of of kids being home which i shouldn't because that's my summertime right my summertime is um pretty much like right now without the homework assignments so i'm wondering why i'm having so much of a problem this week with schedule i'm i'm having i'm having trouble this week and i shouldn't be because like this is like what i do i've done for the past three years during the summer when the kids are off and then and my wife's working it's my every day but this is it's a little bit different maybe just because there's more mental overhead right so yeah i'm having a tough i'm having a good attitude week and a good feel week i'm not having a good productivity week when i shouldn't have anything different in my workflow but i'm not yeah like i said i slept in late this morning that's a problem for me i gotta get i gotta get up and get going like i have to start early and and go with it so yeah <clears throat> So I'm, I'm having a little bit struggle work-wise this week when I should be as prepared as anybody for this this situation that we're in. But I, I think there's there's some mental aspects of it that are just, it, it saps you. Mike, I'm not even joking. Like, I tell my wife and my kids, like, I would really like to stay up late more often because I feel like I could just, like, relax a little bit more and you know even if i'm just watching tv or playing games but i just i can't i just fall out like i even drink coffee late like at six o'clock i'll drink coffee and i'm still in bed by like 10 kim thanks for the follow generalized anxiety yeah it's been a it's been a week so far <laughs> We should, like, I'll, I'll never read. I'll never read that on, on stream. Because I can't read it off stream. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 0 for 2 on Infinite Jest. And I think I'm just going to give up. Like, I don't need to read it that badly. It was just more one of those things, like, I should do and challenge myself to do it. And I failed twice. So, it's like, whatever. I think I'm done. It just sits on the shelf, but I, I I'd seen a joke on Twitter about something like that. The best joke my wife saw yesterday on Twitter, or wherever she saw it, maybe Facebook, was about homeschooling, and it was basically, um, you know, homeschooling update. Two kids are in detention, and the teacher's gotten fired for drinking on the job. And I, I mean, it's, that's exactly it. That was perfect. That was perfect. Just the nib. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. So, yeah, two kids in detention, teacher fired for, for drinking on the job. That's like, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> that's pretty much my house. Yeah, so Kim, when I was, the, when I was uh, making the joke earlier, it was, he was talking about uh, James Joyce. And uh, Infinite Jest as well. Uh, so I thought that was good. But it's just like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. That's a good way to put it, Becky. The, the moment is past, right? I don't need to read that now. So. We'll see. I've got other books. I'm actually reading the bullet journal book right now. Even though I don't bullet journal, nor will I ever bullet journal. Um, because I've tried and it's failed several times. But um, I will read this book because I like the ideas behind it. So I'm just trying to trying to learn, trying to learn some things. <clears throat> Last book I finished was Range, which was very good. I'm going to send that to Corinne. I don't think she's in the chat today. Oh, I love that picture. I've shared that picture before. It's so good. Mm, see ya. 
started a plague journal last night. That's not a bad idea. There's going to be a lot of plague journals um, out there now, and I think that's a good way to to work. <laughs> you couldn't read all of the bullet journal book? Yeah, we'll see if I get through it all. I've just started. I think I'm on the second chapter. I think I'm just into like getting the system laid out. Like, which is what, like, I know that I'm not going to do these things, but I want to see what these other ideas are. So, yeah, it's basically just a diary of the current times that you're living in, knowing that it's different times. So it could be, you know, plague, you know, jokingly, or it could just be about the, these types of things these in the abnormal situation that we're in. <clears throat> So you define it based on your essential like life and living situation as this was a time where this was going on and these are the things I was thinking about during that time. You like writer, but the book book is fluff. Yeah, I mean I think that's fair. It's probably not for everybody. That's why I wanna I wanna give it a shot and see um and then i will probably read something i don't know if i'll read something fiction or or more storytelling because range was more of like a businessy type of book and then bullet journal is you know process type of book so my next book i need i need a little bit of an escape an escape so that'll be mine. I don't know what that next book will be. I have several I can choose from. Actually, I have a, a I have a music book I need to get to. Um, it's from like a '90s indie. What was the? God, I want to say the title of it, but I can't think of it. It's like a. I don't know. It's like I'm with the band or something. I can't remember. I'm blanking. Start an A3. Tomoe River Nanami journal. That would be amazing. That would stress me out, Brian. If you sat that down in front of me and said go, I would have a panic attack. <laughs> Try thinking about having to fill that. Could you imagine if someone sat down an A3 notebook and said, You can't leave until you finish page one? I'd be there for a week. There's just no way. Yeah, I would I would have a panic attack. Like, I think artists could, like, handle it. They would just start doodling and drawing and go into town on it. I would, like... Now, that I could see. Just have, like, a desk pad and sitting there. And, like, you just have, like, partitions on it, right? Like, as you're going. Like, something goes here, right? But to sit there and go, go on that, that would be tough. <clears throat> Great big in and a no. <clears throat> write huge is my challenge. I could get some markers and write huge though. Yeah, I guess you could finger paint. You could do whatever. <clears throat> That's true. Folded nibs, perfect. I need to get Tyler's folded nib back out. He, um, Tyler likes using the folded nib. We need to get that back out. Hey, Matthew was teaching him in, in Raleigh last year. An A3 Leuch term agenda. Oh, my gosh. I would like to see a picture of that. I don't think I've seen that. I have the A4 Leuch term master, like, sitting in the closet of doom still with the wrapper on it. Oh, is the Rodeo desk pad paper a little bit different, you think? He uses the A4 Rodeo pad. Seems okay, but I mean, he's he doesn't care. B5 is the best five. A lot of y'all believe that. A lot of y'all are wrong. I think if I saw an A3 Lloyd's term, I would buy it. Because that's ridiculous.
you have A2 Tomoe River. To, that's, I bet you do have. How did you get that shipped? Like in flat pallets? <laughs> um, you wanted to ask me if Ralph the Nib guy is okay. I haven't seen him post anything on his Instagram. I, do, I have not talked to Ralph in a while. Um, has anyone else? Uh, I know Ralph's got some friends in here right now. Has anyone else talked to, to Ralph? Jim, have you talked to Ralph recently or anything? But uh, I can certainly try to reach out. Andrew's talked to him. <clears throat> oh, I'd love to see a picture of the A3. Ralph's good? Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm sure he's hating missing like the Chicago Pen Show or delaying of the Chicago Pen Show and things like that, so yeah good well thank you for checking in and thank y'all for letting us know this is a good time to check in on people that you hadn't heard it from in a while just shoot them a message say hey hope you're doing okay i did that the other day to a friend just random i don't need anything message just a message like those are those are important like in these times just say you know hey was doing this and thinking about you the other day. Don't need anything. Just wanted to say hi, let you know I'm around, and hope you're doing well. So that's good. All right, Brian, I'm going to go in about 10 minutes. Mike, if you're listening, if you want to fire up your stream, and we'll do a raid here in about 10 minutes, and you can get the bookend kitties. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Love the name. Um, we're going to raid, if y'all missed it earlier, what we're going to do today is we're going to raid Ink Dependence Mike's channel. So you'll, Mike is going to go live in a few minutes and this channel will switch over to Mike and Mike's going to play Jackbox Party maybe, or Mike, maybe Mike's just going to chat, but me and Mike are going to try to start doing more stuff together, like on stream. Um, maybe on other days when I have time, we can do things together, um, which we'll talk about. And uh, that happens, bookend kitties. It's like you sit there and you're just used to like following someone and they're on. And it's like, oh, I never like click the follow button, which, you know, no big deal. Um, I played Jackbox Party with um, Mike last night on his stream. It was fun. We had a blast. All you have to have is a browser. Like you can go watch Mike's stream and like he does some cool stuff. So even supposing this is our goal is to not allow you to get any work done um you know that's our main goal that's good kim that's good yeah like even just like checking in like now's the time to do it there's no more delays right no more holding no more oh i wish i would have contacted that person now's the time seriously do it all it takes is a two sentence email don't need anything just making sure you're good talking about nothing is great that's a good way to put it Jim Mary are you getting like all these like digital assignments that you're having to deal with <clears throat> Yeah, it's good. And like, it doesn't have to be morbid. It's like, hey, I'm calling you because, you know, the plague and stuff is just like, look, like, we're just checking in like, you know, things are things are weird. And I just want to make sure you're good. And I'm here if you ever need anything, you know. So that's cool. Um, while Mike's getting ready, I'm going to figure out how to raid someone. Becky, what are the, um, while Mike's getting ready, I'm going to figure out how to raid someone. Becky, what are the, um, while Mike's getting ready, I'm going to figure out how to I'm going to kill that first. Becky, what are the, um, Mike's Why isn't this going I'm away? Go away. All right, there it was. Um, what are the commands? I think I can go to my, there it is. I, I can, do, I have a panel. Yeah, I pulled up my Twitch channel over here and I have a panel. Yeah, I'm fine. I just found it. All 
All right, just tell me when you go live, and then I'll I'll send them over, and we'll head over. Oh, I need to put Mike in the host. Um, yeah, there's a on the back end you can say host these channels. I don't know that I have Mike in that host. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and raid and send over instead of hosting. You don't have to do anything, Rich. Oh, are you, am I in the auto host? Okay, good. All right, so. Why isn't this coming up? Hmm. But it should just. I should just be able to issue a command, right? So you stay in here. So what's happening is I'm taking off for the day, but you'll stay here and basically this stream is gonna convert into Mike's stream. So you'll be in Mike's channel, Mike's chat, but you're not gonna have to physically go there. I'm going to send you there, right? So I appreciate y'all hanging out. This was a good chat today. Even though we did nothing, like it's cool to just come in here and feel normal for a minute, even though like, we're the weird ones, uh, but it's great. Uh, I, I love being weird on the internet with y'all, and it helps keep me sane. I hope it helps keep you sane. And um, yeah, we're gonna do more, a lot more, coming coming very very soon. Um, just being available, it's um it's good. So we'll keep doing this. So now y'all will stare at me while I figure out how to send you over to Mike. So I'll keep pretending like I'm paying attention, but I'm not really paying attention. And then, um, I'm going to go home and I'm going to interview Schmevelin, my number one stalker. I don't know if she's still here, but we're gonna, we're gonna get us get to chat with Evelyn, uh, this afternoon for friends of the show. All right, let's see if I can get ink to pen. Can I just do bang raid space Mike's name? Oh, you're coming up as NA. I think this is you. There he is. Start raid. I found him, chat. All right. I'm going to click the button. Y'all are going to go say hi to Mike. Go play Jackbox Party TV. Love y'all. I'll talk to you later. I'm still here. And go. And uh, take care of yourselves. So Joan the Maid collecting some food. This is this is Drush. Here come the militia. And at the moment the villagers are loomed, so this scout.